history of Quakertown is uh, extremely interesting. It was incorporated in 1855. The original town was very small, and then through uh, the years, uh, through annexations and things like that, it grew to the size it is today. Quakertown is a community that cares for each other. When everyone needs each other, they all come together and help each other out. I'm grateful to be in this community. We have 90 volunteer firefighters and all of our equipment's battery operated, our saws, the jaws of life, our trucks are plugged in so they're ready to go. It's critical that the borough has its own infrastructure and the electric grid is extremely important. But once power's gone, there's a lot of necessities that you don't think about that are gone. That is a restaurant business. It's, it's important because we all live on it. I experienced Hurricane Sandy. Wow. It's so far away, but so, so vividly it comes back to me. It was a crazy experience. Other towns and communities did come into our town because we were fortunate enough to have power in the borough. We were able to feed a lot of people. We were extremely busy. Many days we'd open up early in the morning, we'd have a line of people just to get coffee. The people were, were grateful for that, you know, just giving back. Being able to have power is just a simple, amazing thing. Distributed generation allows the generation to be at the source where the power is consumed. And you can provide power to those in-use customers, or you can actually place the generation behind the customer's meter, where they can have reliable source of power in the event that the grid does go down. But for some reason, we have a catastrophic event and we need to supply power uh, to our community. We can do that with very little restrictions. This behind the meter generation gives us the ability to seamlessly provide power. We certainly appreciate Power Secure with their involvement in this. It makes a shining light in a sea of darkness.